This little uh, juicy mechanism. What is that? Sizzling bacon sunflower seeds. We'll stick a handful in. Bite it and get... Mm. These are like flipping pistachios on hard mode. Good morning, my turtle topping terrorist. <laughs> uh, all right. I owe you something. I didn't try any of those weird things I bought from Dollar Tree last night, so I figured I would kick off this video with one of them. I like, like this, this early bird gets the worm. All right, here we go. So this is a Warheads Sour Taffy two-in-one tropical pineapple orange, artificially flavored, which is always good. This has to be banned in Europe with those colors. That's what taffy is. I don't see that it has yellow five or anything in it. I mean, on a scale of sour, it might actually be minus. That's not sour. My verdict, trash. Definitely trash. All right, so, mate, what are you doing? What are we doing? Are people, what is it? If you're gonna turn out onto a main road and one of the lanes is free, that's great. But if you're gonna turn out onto a main road and one of the lanes is free and you go into the lane where someone's driving and you make them slow down, I think that automatically gives you inbred status. I will stand by that. All right, I had some thoughts. I saw this video from Alex Hamozzi, which was, he was essentially saying, in, we live in a society where everybody, everyone has a unique personality, but the majority of us conform to what is the norm so that we are, you know, accepted. So then we end up, I wouldn't necessarily say we end up losing our uniqueness, but we do end up all becoming somewhat of the same. And the meaning of that was like figure out who you are, what makes you who you are, and then go with that. But like I agree and I disagree. So I think from the perspective of going about your own life and doing the things that you want, like let's say, not going to college and then not going into a corporate job and that direction in life. If you go in that direction, I don't know if you can be that unique because it's all about conforming. It's all about fitting in. I mean, if you think you spend eight hours of your day working at a job, outside of work, you only have like, let's say two hours in the morning and let's say another, if you finish at four or five, another five or six hours in the evening. So you're spending the same amount of time at work as you are doing your own thing. But at that job, if you don't conform, if you're different, if you stand out from everyone else, you could stand out in a very good way, but you could also stand out and people don't like that. And then, you'll quickly find yourself out of a job because people don't understand how to navigate someone who is different. Now, when I used to make older types of content, I was definitely trying to be more normal. I was trying to be what I thought someone who is teaching people should be like. And that means like, I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to explain things well. I'm holding back the weird things I do that make me who I am. Like the weird intrusive, <laughs> intrusive thoughts that I have. But now 
I don't know if it if it's come from a sense of being more comfortable in who I am, or the fact that I've gotten out of trying to conform to everyone else in this corporate world. You know, since I'm no longer working in it. But I just I, I now feel this sense of I can be who I am, who I want to be, without having to worry about oh gosh, what if someone at work sees one of my videos and it goes all weird from there. I don't really know, I haven't built up my thoughts on what that means for you and how you get to being the real you. Other than whatever it is you're doing, forget that anyone else exists and do it the way you, you would want to do it? I don't really know. Like I feel like in these kind of circumstances, if I haven't figured something out, it would be wrong of me to say this is how you should do it. Which I guess brings me on to another point of, when you have a large social media following, like let's say my TikTok, we're a little bit over 500,000 followers. And to me, that doesn't really mean anything. But people who, they then look at me as, you know, someone who's, I don't know what it is, has authority. Like is, is on a higher level than them. It's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling and I don't feel like, I don't feel that I, of course, that I should be on a pedestal above anyone else. Of course not. But the way, you can't change how other people think, nor should you try and change how other people think. I don't think. <laughs> but it is something, when you become a, let's say, a social media face, an influencer or a creator with a half-decent following, people look at you a certain way, which means the words that come out of your mouth and the actions you do have a lasting effect on the people that see that because they believe some people then believe that that is the right thing to do and I think we as people in that position need to be careful and mindful of that it's it's tough because you're constantly questioning am I making the right decision for other people versus just making a decision of the things that you want to do but it's also a good thing because then now I'm questioning certain decisions that I make of now that I have someone watching, is this the right thing to be doing from a moral perspective, let's say. What other notes. Oh yeah, something that I really want to get better at. Right now I'm in a place of, I'm, I'm always thinking about content. Right, like one, because I love it, and two, because it's the source of income. And at the moment, it's still checking month to month to make sure that making enough, I'm not talking like making enough just to get by, I'm talking about like making enough to get by and a little bit extra. But I find that I'm doing that to the, I wouldn't say detriment, but I'm not thinking as much about my wife and child as I want to be. Like I want to be, you know, sending my wife to get a massage once a week. I want to be doing nice things for her. I want to be looking for a nice uh, necklace or some clothing that she might like. You know, or something else for Rugi. And as I get to that place where it's less about, you know, I need, really need to knuckle down and be responsible so that I can make enough money Okay, I want that mindset to change. I guess what I'm trying to say is, right now, my priority, <laughs> my priority is to make enough money that my wife and child are comfortable, right? And then the next thing is uh, focusing on making sure my wife and child are having a good time. They are enjoying that comfort. So when, like, when the money issue is out of the way, 
the next priority becomes Shay and Rugi. I know that, as I'm saying it out loud, kind of seems like, well, you know, you've got something else to do first. Like, that's an excuse. You're making that happen first. But actually, I, I really, truly feel that my priorities are straight at the moment. Okay, next thing. I made some notes yesterday, didn't I? Oh, yes. Um, I still, I still get this amazing feeling when I make a video with a nice message at the end of it. So like, let's say the first Healy's video I did, the message was that I go from caring what people think to not caring what people think and just doing the things that I want to because it's fun. So I asked my wife to make a comment at the end of the video so that I could reply back with, that's okay, I'm enjoying myself. And when I get comments of people that like quote that section, it's that's okay, I'm enjoying myself. And then they add their thought like, that made me smile or that's so heartwarming or I needed that. Do you know how flipping nice it is to have made something that had a positive impact on someone. That is so, oh, it's such a nice feeling and I can't wait to do it again. All right, let's, <laughs> quick change, let's go get breakfast. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to shoot the football video today. The dropping the ball from a drone, we're gonna make it happen. I've never seen that icon on the screen before. Yeah, well, gonna make it happen. All right, sausage. I have come out to try the drone again. It, I've got new batteries, so it didn't work. I went to get new batteries. Flip it, $10 for two of the tiniest bat. Let me show you. The tiniest battery what is that so um, I, I guess I was kind of half getting the thumbnail there <laughs> but change the batteries I get it kind of working kind of not sometimes does sometimes doesn't so I'm just gonna have to order a new one of these release things for the drone like this I mean, it wasn't too much. It was only like $20. This little uh, juicy mechanism. So we're just gonna stop, actually, which actually brought me onto a good point. Yesterday, like I tried for three, uh, at least three hours, and then I gave up. But I, I want to share the difference, and this was a lesson I learned in college, the difference between giving up and moving on. Giving, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, I lost my thought. The difference between giving up and moving on. Giving up is you can't be bothered. You just, it is what it is. Like, screw it. Can't be asked. Moving on is realizing that things aren't working out and it's going to be a better option for you to move on to something else. They're not the same thing, I don't think. Well, I guess I'm going to get on Amazon. But we, the sauna arrived yesterday, so I can start doing the second part to this video. Uh, I think there are two kind of lessons that come out of this. One is to update the brand, to let, because okay, if you didn't know, this is a, a partnered post video, to let them know of the difficulties and what we're going to do to, I can't really rectify it, but what I'm going to do to still get the video done. And I'll just work on the other one in the meantime. I think that's very key other than... Like, the other option is just you don't say anything and then they're like, where's the video? And you're like, yeah, well, I had some trouble, so it'll be a couple of days later. And then they're sat there thinking, well, sh we had a campaign that was going to go live. And now you've butchered that because you haven't done your part that you promised you would. 
All right, I'm gonna take the ball I bought yesterday back to Academy, head home. I think we're gonna work on the script for the sauna video. And then I want to sink my teeth a little bit into the chat GPTs that I mentioned the other day, creating a couple of those that could be really useful. So, love to do honey bunch. All right, so I, I was going to start doing the sauna planning, and I was like, I should probably try that first. So I'm thinking after I try this, sorry about that, uh, after I, I will try that after I try and see what's wrong with this remote. I'm wondering if, okay, no. So this is an antenna. Look at that, lovely. But it, I had the idea that like this wasn't connected properly, but that wasn't it. Why would this be broken? Hi, Duda. All right, I don't know. So the frustrating thing is that I bought this, uh, you know, obviously a while back, and this would have been my first time using it. But obviously, that hasn't gone to plan. So I thought we'd do a couple of other things so that you're not too underwhelmed by today's video. Well, honestly, with what I have planned, you're probably going to be underwhelmed. So first thing was, let's give these seeds a go. All right, sizzling bacon. Oh, hello. May I help you, madam? Oh, you want some sizzling bacon sunflower seeds? What in the world is going on, Duda? Let me find my knife, Duda. Hello. Oh, yes. Sharp. I do that. All right, go with a handful. Yeah, sizzling bacon sunflower seeds. We'll stick a handful in. Tastes pretty good. What's the best way to crack these? Do you go top to bottom or side to side? These are like flipping pistachios on hard mode. Look at this. Hi, Duda. You a good girl? Do you want one? I love you, Judah, but I'm not. I can't give you one of these. It's like the flavor is really nice, but why do people eat sunflower seeds? It's kind of—is it just something to do? Because all the work it takes to get to the bloody seed, and it kind of like, you bite it and it goes, mm, there's like nothing to it. Yeah, 
It's like biting a piece of cardboard. I don't see the the big wow on sunflower seeds. What are you doing, you goo goo? Um, I was, ha I was having a look at using the what are they? They're called GPTs from Chat GPT. So it's like its own AI app that you can build. It's going to cost twenty dollars a month, and so I figured that I'm probably not going to touch it. I guess two thirty. We're going to go out and rake Lee soon so that Duda and Ruby can play in them. I don't want to touch work this weekend. I do want to, but I also don't want to. Like I want to just be with family this weekend. So I think maybe I'll start that. If it was free, I'd have a quick look around it right now, but it's twenty dollars a month just to look at it. You're probably thinking twenty dollars a month, that's nothing. I mean, yeah, you're right, it's not a huge amount, but if I get the subscription and then I just don't use it. Well, I guess that's where I'm kind of cheap, but the only reason I'm being like that is because at this point, like I'm working for the income that comes in every month in, in, in comparison to being like, okay, I know we've got plenty coming, like we had plenty coming in the last few months. And honestly, I could take a month off, but that's not the case. Or am I just kind of like making that up as an excuse not to start doing it? I feel like I don't know what, like, I think I'll do one for script writing, like storytelling, like social media content storytelling, another for uh, the, so, the automation of like getting clips edited and then posted to social media. So perhaps I can look at, uh, you know what? How about once we get, uh, I don't know what is wrong with me. I, I must not slept well last night. I'm dead. Maybe I'll use a lot of bloody work. Maybe we'll set up this. So we just set up the sauna now. Yeah. All right. Oh, shoot. Magnesium. I am um, just filming it on my phone so that I have just the clip of me taking this. Instead of having to like sort through it from that file. Oh yeah. Dunzo. You know, I'll tell you what, there's part of, like, let's say in these videos, I'm wearing this mic and the branding is on it. 
There's part of me that thinks I should tape over that branding because it's not fair that it's not right that they get all this free promotion for free. But there's also a part of me that's like, like I'm using the product and I think it's good. And I think that you guys should see the equipment I'm using. I cannot have to wait until I talk about it, but be able to see the equipment I'm using because like I've tried a lot of equipment and um, you'll find that the people making content on a consistent basis normally have the, I say the best in terms of like across the board. They'll have the most efficient camera, they'll have the most efficient mic, they'll have the most efficient laptop, most likely. The taste on these is really good actually. We'll try the Taco Bell Supreme ones on Monday. Also, the video I posted yesterday or a couple of days ago, doing pretty well. It's, uh, it says here, how many views? 180. And it's picking up. And it's from the browse feature, which means um, like people are seeing it like suggested almost. It's um, it's only got three point three thousand impressions, which means it has only been displayed to people three point three thousand, three thousand three hundred times. Um, impression click through rate four point five percent, which means four point five percent of those three thousand three hundred people clicked on the video. And they stayed for about a minute of a one hour and 20 video. <laughs> All right, let's go get it. Hi, Duda. This room is so grossly messy just because of the things I brought back in the car from the video I tried to shoot today. Hi, Duda. All right. The at home sauna. basically just a small cage with some kind of like tent lining around the top. I imagine that this project is actually dirt cheap to make, but it's the shipping that costs the most. I really hope too that I thought this had see-through doors. Oh, it doesn't, it has a see-through window. Dude, that's really annoying. You right, Duda? <sighs> Do you have a dog? If you have a dog, does your dog have a side eye you? Duda, you're side eyeing the hell out of me at the moment.
that's weird, isn't it? There's a bag of loads of them and then a bag of just one. Well, I don't understand how these look different. They don't look different, do they? The instruction manual, I do da, shows that there are four different types of bar. But the bars all look the same. Yeah. Dude, what are you freaking out for? You gonna help me? Because you're definitely in the way. Can you come over here? Come over here. Good girl. Hi, Duda. I feel like this video will do well. Now, obviously, I have to, you know, do well with the video, but I feel like uh, just the title of it is gonna do well on TikTok. If people want to know, like they've probably seen one of these before and they want to know are they actually any good. I mean, I do. <laughs> I wanna know if they're any good. Did I write some more topics down to discuss? Um. Oh yeah. I don't remember the TikTok now, but there was like a joke on like resume writing. And I remember when I was in college and applying for jobs, even before that too, and the type of stuff that was thought to be good to write on a resume, like spearheading and stupid, is that a verb, adjective? No, it's a verb, isn't it? A describing? No, adjective. So you were doing, yeah, so it's an adjective. I could be wrong. Uh, as if like it wasn't another human reading that. Spearheaded? What a stupid thing to say. Like, honestly, what a dumb... I just... You might, like, if I received that in my inbox, I'd be like, God, this sounds stupid as hell. This guy's just trying to sound super smart. <laughs> this, it's so cringe when you think back to it. I can't imagine writing a resume now and being like, I spearheaded, blah, blah, blah. Like, maybe in another video, we'll find one of my old resumes and we'll go over it and just see how stupid it is. So in the car, in the morning section of today, like the, when we, I was talking in the car on the way back from the gym, I, I made the note yesterday of um, like how it feels when someone comments something really nice and like how the, 
they felt an emotion from the emotion that I tried to portray in the video. And uh, I was just checking my comments, my like thoughts, because I wrote it down as something to bring up again today. And it's, my comments are like, uh, it's just finished off with, bro, that's corny as hell. I guess this is a duplicate. What's that for? There's no instruction for that. Oh, wait. This is just the tent. There's no heater. What? That can't be right, can it? No way that's what I ordered. What did I send Shay? Bro, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be so frustrated if this without steamer. Hi, Duda. What is it, Duda? Well, I'll tell you what, the last few days has been absolute trash, hasn't it? Hello, Duda. I think, what can I do? to get myself in a better place. Well, I guess for starters, I need to return that. Wait, what if I do that? What are you so needy for? Um, give me one second. I don't want to see the coupon terms, do I? Add that to cart. All right. All right, so I'm looking for a steamer. Sauna. Look at this. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. That hurts. Good girl. The flipping steamer on its own is like a hundred fifty. A sixty dollar steamer. I do that. I'm so annoyed. The one that I originally was going to get didn't arrive uh, for a good few weeks. Like this one here. So I ordered a different one. I guess I just didn't check it properly, did I? Dude, what do you need? You want some attention? Goodness me, you're a crazy girl. I'm just trying to work out if I pack this one up and send it back or if I order a steamer. Yeah, like I can find one here for like $55, $56. Hello, my dude. Uh, I'm also kind of annoyed that you can't see into this one other than just my face. Oh, that one. That is November 20th, so 10 days from now. Um, see, this is. 
has got the door I want to it. I think, oh gosh, I'm going to have to go for this one. I'll send this one back. It's about the same price anyway. All right, well, I'm going to go and get these ordered. And I think I'm going to call it a day because things aren't going very well. I felt good. I felt really good about all the things I've done this morning. Like just cleaned up lots of bits, got all my files in order. I'm in a really good place now where, like for these videos, I copy all the footage over when I'm done. And then the next morning I just grab my laptop, edit, go to the gym. And then I'll normally export the video while I'm going to the gym. And then when I get back, stick it on upload. I'm good to go. I think the thing that takes me the most amount of time at the moment is that I'm really going through the video and everything that I say and do to try and pick out the clips. That probably takes me, yeah, that, that changes the edit from literally probably being like 10 minutes to one to one and a half hours. All right. Well, enjoy your weekend. Well, I hope you enjoyed your weekend because it's now Monday, isn't it? But it's Friday for me. So I will see you tomorrow. You know what I mean, right? I won't be filming. Yeah. <laughs>